Yo, what's good everyone? It's Anatman back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Now, two things before I begin the tutorial. I just want to say I got a new speaker. Yeah, I got a new speaker, as you can tell by my voice. And I got this rock. This rock was actually made 3,000 billion years ago, bro. Bruh. You don't believe me? Look it up. Anyways, <laughs> let's begin the tutorial. Feel free to draw along as I go through all the steps. Okay, first off, I'm gonna be sketching a circle for the structure of the head. You know, nothing too hard, very simple. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, next I'm gonna be drawing two lines for the cheek and the jawline. Next I'm gonna connect the two lines to the chin. Drawing the ears here. Then I'm going to be drawing the structure of the mouth. Drawing some lines to indicate the nose. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to be drawing this eyes now. This is the left eye. Drawing the iris here. The eyeball. Feel free to pause the video if you have any trouble. Okay, now I'm going to be drawing the right eye now. This is a bit difficult for some people because you have to mirror the left eye to look exactly as the right eye. <laughs> so just take your time on this part because it, it can be pretty difficult to do because you have to mirror it. As you can see, I'm drawing some of the hair. Okay, when you're drawing hair, you don't have to copy exactly what I did, like, like every strand, because hair is not really uh, scripted. Hair is very loose. It's very flowy. Just go with the flow with hair. Now, right now, I'm just drawing the neck area. Now, some of y'all might be thinking, why am I drawing so light? I'm drawing light because, you know, it's a sketch. I'm going to eventually ink it in a few. Now, I'm just, you know, adding some detail in the hair. Yeah. Continue drawing the hair. Okay, looking good. Now I'm going to start the inking process. I'm using a Faber Castell brush pen. Yeah, that's for the inking. No, 
you necessarily don't have to use this I use it because I like the feel of the brush um, I like brushes okay I like to use brushes a lot <laughs> and this right here is the micron point one I use for um, you know, for ink and hair it's good for ink and hair because because the tip is very small So right now we're just gonna continue inking the hair, you guys. Let me slow it down for you guys so you can see how I stroke the pen. Go on to the mouth, really quick. No, the eyes no. For the iris, I did um, kind of sketchy. I made the texture kind of like chicken scratchy, just to give it a, a little look. If you look carefully, closely. Looks really good so far. You're looking like conky. If you ever notice that the hair is, it's uh, the lines are, are thinner than the than the actual face, because I use two different pens. I use an ink brush for the for the face, and I use a an ink pen, a small tip uh, for the hair. Right now, I'm I'm going to be using a gray marker. This is a copy marker. I just use a gray color. You, know, you could use any gray color. So I found out that that wasn't working out. I was going to use a pencil for this. But I still used the, the marker for the eyes. But I just thought the, the pencil has more, um, more of a darkness to it. Machine the eyes. So when you want to shade the hair, right? You sh you're basically making the shadow of the hair, and just copy what you see on top. Okay. So all you gotta do is copy what you what you see on top. Now my lighter is coming from the top right, so I'm going to be shading the left. Of course, put some shadow in the in the the neck area. As you can see already, it started to look like. <laughs> The actual show, man. Like this. Okay, looking good. Now for this part, uh, we want to shade on top of the hair. Like sh basically, sh you're shading the hair. So his hair is white in the anime so the shading color is gray the light gray so i'm going to be using a touch new marker for the the shading of the hair basically you're just stroking up you're basically stroking up upwards um direction of the hair just the stroke upwards And then, of course, can't forget about the blue eye. I'm going to be shading the, the eye, or well, coloring the eye. It's not, she is not shade, but I'm going to be coloring the eye black. Uh, his right eye. His left eye. Yeah. Now, 
the guy in the pupil. Okay, now I'm going to be using a red copy marker just for the eye, the ghoul eye. And I use the um, I use the same comment marker for the iris, the not the iris, the people. Same comment marker for the people. Now this part here, this part is like the best part to make it look cool. The the black background. I use a brush and dip it in ink and then I just color the back. I'm trying to get some ink on Connor Key's face itself. So I'm actually being very careful not to put the ink on on his face or get some of his you know his hair stuff. So, I basically, th this is a smart, smart tip you should do when you're inking, like uh, with a brush or whatever, and uh, you can't really get the edges. Use a smaller nib, which is like a marker or an ink brush. You know, use a smaller tip so you can get the nits and crannies. If that makes sense. Now I was gonna shade that that white part of the clothes. I said, you know what? Yeah, it's all black. So, so I'm very hard just adding some fight bruises and blood and stuff because he's been through a fight. You know, Kanaki kind of had a hard time and. <laughs> Right now I'm going to be adding some direction with the, the ink pen. Right now I'm just shading the part of clothes accordingly. Just like so. Looking good. And that's pretty much it guys, um, you know, thanks for watching and peace.